It's known as the People's Bank, but it doesn't make a profit. The credit union movement started in Ireland half a century ago, and now it's being brought right up to date. Thanks to new technology, credit union members will now be able to pay bills and transfer money online. Here's our business correspondent, Yvette Shapiro. It looks like a bank and increasingly acts like one. But the difference is, it doesn't impose charges, nor does it make a profit. The credit union styles itself as the People's Bank. Hello, I'm a credit union. This is one of 170 credit unions in Northern Ireland. Between them, they've more than £340 million in assets. Membership, at over half a million, is growing steadily. But people want more from their financial institutions these days. They're looking for internet access, they're looking for current accounts, they're looking for debit cards, ATM cards. And what each credit union is actually looking at from their own membership's point of view and deciding what's pertinent to them and then putting their own plans in place about how they will actually address those needs. New computer technology will allow credit union members to access the services they're demanding. What they're able to do now with RCU Online is to be able to do things like you know, check their uh, credit union balances online. They can do it any time, 24 hours a day. Um, they can uh, pay bills, they can move funds from one credit union to another. The former SDLP leader, John Hume, was the founder of the very first credit union in Derry. He says the movement remains at the heart of the community. What's quite amazing now is that there's three million members in the whole of Ireland of the credit union movement. When you consider that the population of the whole of Ireland is five million, that means there's hardly a home in the country where there's not a member of the credit union. And of course it's done enormous good for ordinary people. This branch, like many others, already opens longer than many banks and building societies. And within the year, thanks to new technology, members at some branches will be able to use a wide range of services they'd normally only expect to find in the banking sector. The credit union movement has moved firmly into the 21st century. Yvette Shapiro, BBC Newsline, on the Ormo Road.